Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm just going to do a wee boil test with a few of my stoves. I've got four setups that I want to try and I'm just trying to get an idea which might be quickest amongst other things and what I want to hang on to and what I might get rid of. So it ranges from anything from the serotonin wood stove, which I'm going to try. I've also got my normal titanium pot. This is a Snowpeak pot, which I use in conjunction with the Soto Windmaster. And I've also got an alcohol stove, which is the wee Des Cati. It's just a very simple screw off alcohol type stove with some wadding and some mesh in there. And then a caldera cone system. And that protects and concentrates the heat for the pot. So I'm going to try a variety of these things. I just want to find out what kind of boil times we get and then I might decide to get rid of some of these. So if you've been looking at a variety of stoves for your own use, you might find this of interest just to find out what's most effective. The temperature, it's run about zero degrees at the moment, so it's just hovering on the freezing point and we'll get no wind. So perfect conditions just to try this without the wind changing or influencing the times. Temperature is beginning to rise a wee bit. It's still just below zero, I think about minus one at the moment. Right, 500 milliliters, all set. This is a Des Cati's, uh, just a tiny wee homemade burner I bought on eBay actually. It works very well. It's actually really frugal. It's very efficient, I've found. Caldera cone system from America. Very, very battered. You can see I've used this over decades. There's hardly any of it left. It's beginning to corrode around the bottom. Let's pop the pot on and start the stopwatch. So I suspect that's going to maybe take, I don't know, three to five minutes to do 500 mils. I'm guessing five, to be honest, but we'll see. It's worth mentioning the temperature is just creeping above zero now, so around about freezing. So we're halfway through what I think might be the target boil time, just on a wee look. Yeah, there's some steam, but yeah, i got a bit to go yet. Okay, we're just on four minutes and it looks like we've got the first steam coming out of the pot. Let's have a quick look. Not quite boiling yet, we'll give it a, some more time. Right, we're way past the five minute mark and we've still not got a boil yet. Let's have a quick look. Getting close. Seven minutes plus now. I should mention there's absolutely zero wind, so we can ignore the effect of wind in this at the moment. Okay, coming up in nine minutes, I'm beginning to hear some simmering noises coming off it. And the first steam coming out of the vents. Okay, we're coming up on the 10 minute mark and I think we are close to a boil. So 10 minutes, 30 full boil from the alcohol stove with a caldera cone. Okay. I've emptied the water. I'm just going to let the pot itself cool down until it's about ambient temperature zero. So I've assembled the serotonin now. I don't think I'll bother with this top grill. I'll probably put my pot straight on there for a fair comparison. And I think we'll remove the grill here, which is more for kind of grilling sausages and the like. Then we'll put the wood straight in, we'll get it going. We'll get it secondary burning through these holes in the side. And then we'll try the titanium pot straight on that and see what kind of speed we get. As you can see now, we're starting to get a secondary burn coming out the holes along the walls at the top. Press start, put on, and let's see how we go on with this one. So we're now 1 minute 52. Yeah, well, it's beginning to steam. It's not too bad. It's just over three and a half minutes now. One of the slightly annoying things is it goes through wood fairly quickly, so you're having to kind of feed it a wee bit more than you would do with a normal stove. Five and a half minutes, still not quite on the boil yet. 6.57, seven minutes, we're coming on close to caldera cone times. Is it going to beat the caldera cone? Yeah, we have a rolling boil at about eight. I've just stopped that slightly late at eight minutes, 50. So although I needed to put a wee bit extra wood in it just to keep the thing burning, which you have to be on top of, there's actually a hatch on the side here. You can feed it in underneath as well. Um, if you've got the grill on top, say you were cooking sausages or something, you can still feed wood in there. But anyway, 8 minutes 50, still beat the caldera cone, which I am genuinely surprised by. So for the purposes of this wee experiment, I bought a brand new gas. It's the Go system, probably the cheapest gas you can buy. So it's not really a winter mix, but I've kept it relatively warm in my pocket. 
and we'll just attach the stove onto that and we'll give this a go from fresh brand new canister sounds pretty healthy titanium pot 500 mils straight on and away we go what's your guesses on time for this one i am going to hazard a guess at about three minutes Again, no change in the wind conditions, so a literally negligible wind, if anything at all. Branches aren't moving. So we're getting a pretty consistent test here. Temperature's roughly the same, at just about zero. Okay, three minutes four, three minutes five, and we are boiling. I'll stop that now. Yep. absolutely boiling away one we're now going to try the same basic test but i'm going to use my new fire maple g3 i think it is with the heat exchanger pot base which slots right over the stove if i can remove it from there so the tr tripod just fits and you can see the burners inside there so i'm hoping that'll be the most efficient of all of them which is there The only kind of slightly fiddly thing with this is you've got to line up the... And we're on. So it's brand new cold water in a cold pot, which was actually sitting outside. So the pot itself will be semi-frozen, just sitting around about zero. Where are we on now? We're on 51 seconds. I think it'll probably be nearer. I'm hoping it will be maybe a target of about two minutes, which would be, what, a third more effective? Can't resist a wee look. One minute 33. Yeah, it's definitely some steam coming off there. You hear the sound changing as if it's reaching a boil. Yeah, we are robot. We're boiling. Two minutes 24. So not completely unexpected, but yet yeah, Fire Maple, as I thought, the most efficient so far. Um, I'm actually genuinely surprised by the results. I cannot believe, well, I can believe because I've tested it. The fact that the alcohol burner with the with the caldera cone system was as slow as it was 10 minutes 30 it took to boil 500 milliliters of water that genuinely was a surprise i thought it'd be somewhere in the middle maybe third place and then next we have the serotonin stove which was eight minutes 50 to boil 500 mils of water again that's that's pretty good actually i'm, I'm genuinely a wee bit surprised by that and then my usual setup is the titanium pot with the Soto Windmaster and that came in at 3 minutes and 5 to boil 500 mils. And then lastly, no surprises really, but using the maple pot with the Soto Windmaster and the heat converter, the little fins inside or whatever you call them. Um, that came in at 2 minutes 24, so a huge spread in terms of the actual time it takes to boil 500 mils. Although, you know, at the end of the day, cooking on wood, cooking on alcohol, to me is a bit like cooking on an aga stove versus a gas stove. There's something kind of nice about it in its own right, and something very zen. I quite enjoy it. But uh, if you're looking for efficiency, yeah, definitely the Soto Windmaster with the maple is excellent. I'll have a wee look online at other videos because the one thing I don't own is anything like an MSR wind burner or reactor stove. Or I'd be interested to see how quickly they can boil 500 mils. It's a stove I don't have at the moment. I used to have one. I cannot remember what the times were. So uh, yeah, it'd be just interesting. I might put it on screen just if I can find somebody who's boiled 500 mils in one of those and just see how efficient that was and whether it actually beat the Soto Windmaster. So thank you for watching. Um, I said there would be a wee giveaway um, in the description of the video. So what I've decided to do actually is I'm going to give away the Serotonin Firefly Mini Stove. If you're interested, just put a comment below and I'll um, randomly choose somebody from the list of a number generator. We'll do that today's date, I think is the 12th. We'll give it a week. So let's say next Sunday the 17th, I'll announce the winner of the Serotonin Firefly Mini which is actually a really nice little wood stove and as you saw in the earlier footage there it just goes really compact pop it in your pack and it makes for a really nice little bushcraft option or just something to keep you warm when you're out there camping so thank you again for watching everybody and i'll see you out there again soon cheers just now